Cubase has an amazing pitch-shifting and time-stretching algorithm, which makes it perfect for altering the tempo of tracks for remixes. In this video, I've got a number of stems, and I'm importing the stems into my Cubase project. I'm going to start them all at the same time on different tracks. Stems are basically a mix down of different components of a track. For instance, you could have drums or vocals or guitars or bass all mixed into tracks. So it's really easy to use them or chop them up for remixes. Now the tempo here is 128. So I'm going to type in 128. That's something that you should be clear on from the start. Normally you'd save it in the stem names. I've got the tempo right, but the track's still not in time with the click track, and I know why that is. The person that sent me these stems is using an older version of Pro Tools, which used to bounce with a small gap at the front. Pretty annoying. So if you've got that issue, well, first of all, tell them that they need to just ditch Pro Tools and get Cubase. But a way around that is to highlight all the tracks, right mouse click, and say move selected tracks to new folder. I'm just going to name my folder stems. Before I do anything, I've got to take my snap to grid off because this is not in time to the grid in Cubase. Now I'm going to pick up on the bottom left hand corner of that folder and loosely align it to where I think the drum kit's coming in. It's always a pretty good indicator with the kick drum. Now I'm putting my snap back on and I'll check it. It's pretty good at the start, but the best thing to do is to go to the end of the track and see how it sounds there. Next up, we go up to the media menu and select open pool window or control command P. And I want to highlight all of these stems that I've just brought in. You can hold down shift and select them all and then turn on musical mode. I'm also going to give the original tempo, which was 128. And there we have a few or a number of different time stretching algorithms. I'm focusing on pitch. Now, if I go up to Groove Agent SE, I'm not too sure what samples I've got loaded in here, but the idea is my track should be in time with Groove Agent SE. It's in time. So that's really easy and really fast. But the advantage of that is now if we go to our transport bar and up the tempo, you'll see just how good this algorithm is. And everything in the project is going to be in the new tempo. And now we can start adding other instruments. We can start chopping up the track. We can start quantizing our other instruments. And we can go ahead and focus on remixing a track. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Please like the video and subscribe to our Cubase channel for more tips on how you can be creative with Cubase. I'll catch you there.